Hi, so today is a great day for I have gotten my starter deck Fable Waltz decks. So I'm very excited for this deck um, especially. I do have the um, green deck as well, but I'm very excited for the yellow deck um, a lot more. Um, I also have immediate plans to use um, the Fable Waltz cards. So today I'm going to be unboxing them. Of course, I did pick up several, um, but I'll just open one in this video, just because there's no um, bonus packs or anything like that. So just one deck, and it will have the exact same contents as the other deck. I also do not believe that there are Switch cards in this, so all Star decks are the exact same. Okay, so let's open this. It is caught on something. So it's looking like I'll just tear open the box. Rather tear open the box and then protect the contents than to keep the box and then harm the contents inside. Okay, so they have changed the packaging for this. Um, they had some weird cardboard before for the Jesmon and Ragnar Lordmon decks and then they switched to plastic and then they started from plastic or um, they, they've they been changing the packaging a lot but now um, for this it is in this nice little cardboard box that isn't as awkward as the Jesmon nor the Ragnar Lordmon decks and then on the back side you have the playmat oops I hit my ring light. Okay. So, yeah, basically you have the playmat on the back. You have the star deck in the front. Let's go over the star deck for now. I'm very excited about this. So you have Kiaramon. One attacking, once per turn. If you have another Digimon, draw one. Draw one card from your deck. And you have four copies of this Kiaramon. You have Junkmon. Three costs, zero to Digivolve off a yellow level two, 1000 DP. Decoy Puppet Trait. Um, Inheritable Barrier. You have four of these. And then you have the rare Shumon. Three cost, 1000 DP. Digivolves for zero off a yellow level two. On play effects, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one card for the puppet trait and one card of the liberator trait among them to the hand. Return the rest of the bottom of the deck. Inheritable effect, your turn. All of your opponent's security did you want to get minus 3000 DP. You only get two copies of these. The yellow black Punchestmon, or as I like to call it, the quote unquote white pawn chessmon. Three play costs, 2000 DP. Digivolves one off of a level two yellow or black. On play effect, by trashing one card with a puppet trait in your hand, draw two. Inheritable effect, reboot. You have four of these. And you have the black yellow pawn chessmon, or as I like to call it, the quote unquote black pawn chessmon. Three play costs, 2000 DP. Digivolves one off of a yellow level two or one off of a black level two as blocker on deletion by trashing one card with the puppet trait in your hand draw two no inheritable in this one you have four of these and then you have Doggymon four play cost four thousand DP Digivolves two off of a level three yellow on play or on deletion give one of your opponents Digimon security attack minus one until the end of their turn. No inheritable. You have four of these Doggymons. And then you have Tobukatmon. Tobukatmon. Five play cost, 5000 DP. Digivolves two off of a level three yellow. It has jamming on it, which is pretty nice. It also has an X antibody and puppet trait, which has some pretty good synergies. Or it has um, pretty good support, I want to say, not really synergies. Um, inheritable Barrier. You have four of these Tobu Catmons. Oop. 
I feel like a card is stuck, which means that it is most likely a super rare. I know exactly which super rare it is. <laughs> yep. There we go. Now you have Shushumon. So the super rares are textured, which mean that they are likely to stick to the back of your other cards. Um, so if you panic and then you don't see them, it is most likely because they're stuck on the back of them. So six play cost, 5,000 DP, digivolves for two off of a level three yellow. You can see some really nice stars in the background. And you can see that hollow effect, which is kind of why I really want to use my ring light to show off the sparkles. And then you can see that the stars are getting bigger and smaller depending on the lighting, which is really nice. So security effects, you can play one card with the liberator trait and a play cost of four or less from your hand or trash without paying the cost. Overclock, puppet trait. And then inheritable effect, your turn, all of your opponent's security Digimon get minus 3000 DP. Pretty nice card. Pretty nice art too. Then you have Pandamon. You have six play cost, 7,000 DP, Digivolves for three off of a level four yellow. It has blocker. On deletion, you may play a one level three Digimon card for the puppet trait from your hand without paying the cost. No inheritables, but only six play costs, blocker, and on deletion. That is pretty darn nice. Seven play cost, 7,000 DP, Digivolves for four off of a level four yellow or a level four green, or um, level four with Tyramon in name or a Raremon in name for three cost. It has Armor Purge, Digicross Mass two, um, with level four Tyramon or Raremon in name, and a level four with a Puppet trait. So either or Tyramon or Raremon and uh, a Puppet trait level four. So it has Barrier as an Inheritable, pretty nice card. You have four of these. Shaperomon, I really, really like this Shaperomon um, over the EX7 one. Seven play costs, 7,000 DP. Digivolves for three off of a level four yellow. On play and when did you, in or when did you evolving. One of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 3,000 DP for the turn. If there are three or more Digimon, it further gets minus 3,000 DP. So basically, on play this, you can negative 6,000 Digimon most of the time. Uh, minus 6,000 is pretty darn nice. Level 5, uh, Inheritable, all turns once per turn, when this Digimon would leave the battle area, other by your effects by delaying one of your tokens or other puppet trait Digimon, it doesn't leave. That is a very nice inheritable to have in a puppet themed deck. And again, I think something, yep, there we go. And the other SRs of the deck, you have Sendromon. So this has a really nice lattice-like effect. Very nice card. You can kind of see that they're Spiraling. Very nice texture. 11 play costs, 11,000 DP. Digivolves are 3 off of a level 5 yellow. Overclock, overclock puppet trait. And then blocker. When digivolving, you may play two familiar tokens. And then on deletion, those tokens have minus, give your one of your opponents Digimon minus 3,000 DP for the turn. Very nice card. Shin Manzaimon, 12 play cost, 12,000 DP, Digivolves for 4 off of level 5 yellow, or Digivolves for 3 off of level 5 with Manzaimon or Numemon in name. Armor Purge, on play when Digivolving, by placing one level 5 or lower card with Numemon in its name or the puppet trait from your trash, as this Digimon's bomb Digivolution card recovery plus 1 from deck. So you have 4 of these. And then Arisa Kinosaki, 
four play costs start of your turn. If you have two or less memory, set it to three. Your turn when effects play any of your tokens or puppet trait Digimon. By suspending this tamer, one of those Digimon gains rush for the turn. Security effects, just like many other tamers, or I believe all tamers, security play this card without paying the cost. You have four of these Orisas. Five cost Noble Family Arts. Main effect, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 6,000 EP for the turn. If there are three or more Digimon, it further gets minus 6,000 EP. So basically, you can minus 6,000 DP to something if there are two or less Digimon. If there are three or more Digimon out, then you get to minus 12,000 DP to something, which honestly is a very nice effect, in my opinion, for an option card. It also has the Liberator trait. So if you wanted to search for this in a Liberator-themed deck, you definitely can add this to hand, which is pretty nice to know. Inherited, or like um, security effects, Activate this card's main effect. I actually really like this card. It doesn't seem that good, but when you actually use it, it is actually really nice to delete something 12,000 DP for only 5 costs. And then, the other SR of the deck, which is a reprint of Yellow Memory Boost. You have Schumann on it. This has no texture, which is kind of nice. Um, so that it won't curl up on you. So three use costs. They changed it to use cost now on the options. Um, <clears throat> main, reveal top four cards of your deck, add one yellow Digimon card among them to the hand, return the rest to the bottom of the deck, then place this card in the battle area. They've also removed some reminder text, so it doesn't say um, return them to the deck to the bottom of the deck in any order anymore. It's just understood. But that is nice that they um, changed and updated this card's text. Main delay, um, gain two memory. Security effect, place this card in the battle area. Pretty nice card to have. You only get two of these in the starter deck. And then you have a bunch of trainings. So interestingly, it starts from blue, or, oh, there we go. Okay, now that makes a lot more sense. So it starts in red, so you have offense training, two cost, or two use. Um, main, reveal the top two cards of your deck, add one red card among them to the hand, return the rest of the bottom of the deck, then place this card in the bow area. Main delay, one of your Digimon may digivolve into a red Digimon card and the hand with the Digivolution cost reduced by two. So you can see that this card has some pretty nice art on it. It does have texture. You can see little triangles and some characters. Pretty nice. Security places card in the bow area. And then mental training, you can see some ice shards in the background. Two use cost, main, reveal the top two cards of your deck, add one blue card among them to the hand, return the rest of the bottom of the deck, then place this card in the bow area. Main delay, one of your Digimon may digivolve into a blue Digimon card, and the hand with the digivolution cost reduced by two. You have agility training, two use cost. Wait, it went from blue. Yeah, it has to be yellow. It just got stuck. Okay. So you have physical training actually up next. Two use cost. Main, reveal the top two cards of your deck. Add one yellow card among them to the hand. Return the rest of the bottom of the deck, then place this card in the bow area. I actually really love the texture on this one. So instead of having some shapes, it's just a bunch of lines um, to showcase that Arisa, Shumon, and uh, I forgot the name, Junkmon, are running or 
um, traveling very fast from a certain direction. So you can see that it's all going out from there and they are just like running or cycling. So they are just speeding away. So I really like this art with the lines. You have two use costs, agility train. Oh, I've, I think over the bottom of the facts, but it's basically the same. Main delay, one of your Digimon may digivolve into a yellow Digimon card and the hand with the digivolution cost reduced by two. Security, place this card in the battle area. Basically, they all have the same effects, but substitute red for blue, for yellow, for green, for purple, for, for black, for purple, etc. Basically the same. Agility training to use cost. You can see some characters on it. Reveal the top two cards of your deck. Add one green card among them to the hand. Return the rest of the bottom of the deck. Then place this card in the bow area. Main delay. One of your Digimon may digivolve into a green Digimon card. And the hand of the digivolution cost reduced by two. You can also see some lines on the card. Just like going horizontally. Agility training, security places card in the bow area. I know that black comes after green, so I knew that there was a card under there. Defense training, two use costs. Main reveal the top two cards of your deck. Add one black card among them to the hand, return the rest of the bottom of the deck, then place this card in the bow area. Main delay, one of your Digimon may digivolve into a black Digimon card, and the hand with the digivolution cost reduced by two. Security, place this card in the bow area. I also really love this art. There's a bunch of stuff going on this card. You can see some animation effects going off of Schumann. You can see a bunch of those characters floating around. And then there's some lightning effects. Yeah, this is pretty nice. And then you have Wisdom Training. To use costs, reveal the top two cards of your deck, add one purple card among them to the hand, return the rest of the bottom of the deck, then place this card in the bow area. Main delay, by trashing this, oh, main delay, one of your Digimon may digivolve into a di purple Digimon card in the hand with the digivolution cost reduced by two. Security, place this card in the bow area. So this card has some pretty interesting texture. It's more like um, grainy. So that's pretty nice. Nothing too interesting, but it is like the, the grainy texture on the card. And it's evenly throughout most of the part, except for like the, the blackboard and some other parts of the card, but it's a pretty even grainy texture distribution. And then you just have some rules on how to play the game, stuff. So keywords, textures, is keywords, effects, and rules, text, glossary. And then the back of that card. So yeah, this gives you everything that you really need to know about the game. And then the keywords continued. It's nice that they put a vortex on there. That's a new one. It's also very nice. Overclock is up there too. And oh man, they still didn't really explain Blast Digivolve that well. Um, so new players, um, they usually get stumped on what Blast Digivolve is, but your opponent has to declare an attack. And then during that step, um, after their one attacking effects and after your one attacking effects, then you can Blast Digivolve. But it doesn't really explain it well in the description of the car of the um, effect. But then you also have other keywords. And then you can check out the web comic. But yeah, very fun deck unboxing. 
You also have the playmat, which I may have to move my camera. Oh, okay, I could zoom out, okay. I'm learning things. But yeah, you have the play mat, also with rules on the back. There we go. So I will move my camera actually. So yeah, this is the play mat. If I had both hands, I would straighten this out, but I'm currently holding my phone. And then the front of the playmat, you have Schumann and Sendrilmon. Just a note for reference, the playmat that I have under everything is a 14 by 24 playmat. Um, this is the Star deck play mat around top of it. So it is very most definitely under 14 inches um, tall. It is just eyeballing it, eyeballing it here. It is around 12 inches tall. And then this is 24. This is slightly over 24. So this is probably 14 by 12 inches. Yeah, kind of small play mat, especially if you're playing puppets and you want to rush everything out. Um, but yeah, pretty nice include to have. We used to not get play mats at all, so I'm just happy that we're getting them now. But yeah, very nice deck. I'm very excited to build puppets. Um, I will post my deck list soon. Um, I have some very interesting stuff going on, but it is currently a surprise until the near future, but I am playing puppets very differently than other people. But yeah, I will see y'all later.